Linky, you were sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wouldn't expect to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned the head. Say you going out to Purdus. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. That's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. you'll be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. I wouldn't go so far as to say you can't trust anyone over You haven't been tickled by a millionaire, baby! Huh? Watch and learn, boys. Round him!
Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the Pierced Heart. Slash She'll help dice, you. motherfuckers! Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank, thank you. You killed him. Kill all of them. Every last one. Get out of here. Now. I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, Jerry's still out on that one. Sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hell hole. Paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. He's leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. up over at Purvis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. 
Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau. some supplies. Heard you were the man to talk to. Cassandra said you might be coming. I'm happy to help, but I ain't running no charity either. One for you? You spot anything you can use? Show me what you got. Are you fucking kidding me? He was <laughs> Oh, I can see 
you got? Well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. out of the church and Richie will have to respond. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. Oh, there are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. 